critiqued for too long, blamed others for too long, we have allowed ourselves to be defined for too long, and that the time is now to define ourselves. Typically, when one is invited to speak, long introductions are made. I normally interrupt those introductions because the very fact that we have invited Commander-in-Chief Julius Malema here in itself is a testament to the fact that we have searched throughout the world and we have arrived at the conclusion that he is the one who is fit to be here. So his very presence in this assembly is a testament to the fact that he is a Pan-Africanist. It is not mine to talk about him. But when we talk about Pan-Africanism today, we are talking about Pan-Africanism in the context of those who preceded us. We are talking about Pan-Africanism reminding ourselves of Sylvester Williams of Trinidad and Tobago who convened the first Pan-African meeting. We are reminding ourselves of Marcus Garvey. We are reminding ourselves of Pixlika Isaka Seme of South Africa. We are reminding ourselves of W.B. Du Bois. We are reminding ourselves of John Henry Clark. We are reminding ourselves of Malcolm X, of Martin Luther King Jr., of Robert Mangaliso Subukwe. We are reminding ourselves of Bantu Stephen Biko, we are reminding ourselves of Julius Kambarage Nyerere. We are reminding ourselves of Amilka Cabral of El Jassi. We are reminding ourselves of Ahmed Ben Bella, of Ahmed Sekoture, of Samora Moises Marshall, of Agostino Nato, and all those great men, Winnie, Matikezela, Mandela. We are reminding ourselves. And therefore, when we come here, on this occasion of the Pan-African Institute, we are reminding ourselves that we have philosophized for too long, moralized for too long, agonized for too long, complained for too long, criticized for too long, critiqued for too long, blamed others for too long, we have allowed ourselves to be defined for too long and that the time is now to define ourselves. The time is now to organize beyond organization. 